Hello everyone. This is same series of clean architecture with CQRS pattern. Okay, and uh, let's get a start to demo what we'll achieve in this session. So we'll achieve in this session. Let me zoom in. Okay, so we'll achieve in this session. We'll implement actually the post endpoint in web API user interface so that it it can you know. Uh, it can contact in you know, it can you know coordinate with application layer and application layer can talk with the you know uh, that uh, infrastructure layer and get the data or post the data okay in the last session we'll cover actually the two endpoint let get endpoint so now in this session we'll achieve the post endpoint and how is there look like so let me try to post as of now let me see first is there any data or not in this table see there's a no data like also see there's a fire the query select a star from like select you know author description or other things from the block table there's a nothing as of now let me add a uh, fresh data okay so let me add like clean architecture texture and then description is this is the best architecture okay and then author is y kkp and image like clean dot png okay let me execute see it is debugging also there let me running continue okay see there is a generate one insert command okay and that insert command Okay, this insert command just executed and just fired and then finally it should be generated into DB. Okay, let me check again the data is there or not. Yeah, see the generated clean architecture with description and uh, those data which is be posted. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so so far so far we actually generated in previous session this get or you know get by id or get blocks okay so let me open our whatever example previously we have taken okay and uh, also if you visit first time in my channel so definitely uh, i'm especially recommend to you okay go to my you know uh, Go to my channel, Poddar KK Tricks, okay, and you you have to watch my all clean architecture session so that you can understand, okay, how we can you know achieve that all the you know from the scratch you know that uh, layer by layer setup and how implement the infrastructure layer, how implement the all the stuff, okay. If you go to playlist, so you can see here, see. This is that section of clean architecture with the sequence pattern and mediator. Okay, so there is a very and another many many things in my channel. So also you can just learn. Okay, so let me let get started. So what need to do first? We have to go uh, our UI web UI layer. Okay, so where is our web UI layer? This is a web API layer. Okay, here I have to go in this block control. Okay, so in this block control we have created see we just minimal code we have just to call in API and we have achieved everything. Okay, so let me create uh, that endpoint like post endpoint. Okay, so first we have to create one HTTP post endpoint okay and then we have to create public async task and then i action result okay and then finally i have to call the method name is a create and then finally uh, create block command okay call to the create block command and finally i want to call that mediator okay and that mediator actually 
talk with the application layer okay so what i need to send i need to send that command uh, whatever we have sending as a command okay so that i need to send over here okay and whatever it is returning type it is returning as a blog bm so just a store is a where created blog actually it is a result of whatever you know getting the result okay after creating into db so once it's done so i need to call this endpoint actually get by get by id endpoint so that whatever id is generated okay based on the id i just called again this get endpoint and get the data to user so that user can you know confirm okay it is successfully generated or not okay so what need to do just set as a return okay return and then created on as a method created at action method what actually required in this method this is a three overload method so see i can pass the action name and route value and that value okay so just pass to uh, action name so name of okay name of action name is what is our action name it is get by get by id okay and now i need to pass as a route parameter so let me create an anonymous object okay and then whatever expected per route parameter is id and where i will get that id i will get the id whatever returning type of that you know uh, mediator or response okay and then finally i need to pass that value object okay so let me pass that object that's it okay see it is very very you know less of code and it is a clean that's why it's a clean architecture see it is a clear code okay so only just mediator are you know depend mediator are actually calling our application layer and get the data okay we get the response actually there is a no dependency direct dependency that's why actually it is a clean architecture it's a very nice code and nice you know uh, flexibility give us okay so this is done let me debug okay and see uh, like how is that uh, working flow is flow the working okay let me run and see it's running and once i post click the post try out okay let me name it to uh, clean architecture okay the blog name is a clean architecture name is a uh, uh, clean clean architecture is a good approach okay uh, let me just as a our author name is kkp okay and let me execute see once you execute you will get the data means you will debugger point will hit here okay so put debugger point as well here let me continue see i'll i reach it to application layer okay see this is our application layer inside the application layer actually uh, go to commands and in the commands actually you will get that command handler and command handler actually that request comes up okay and then debugger just you know whatever entity return to the domain entity okay and pass it to our repository and go to implementation okay so once you here it is actually part of that infrastructure layer so infrastructure layer we get the entity finally it is called to db context class and db context class actually just save it and then return back to again you can see uh, generated 10 and return back to our controller or uh, application and then application to uh, controller and finally it's called to our main endpoint let's get by endpoint and see this is just generated last generated is 10 id is 10 and then whatever our our things it is just created okay and let me check in our console okay console also see uh, it is generating a insert command see this is generating an insert command okay see 
see like select a star from the blocks okay you will get the data and this is our one last one is 10 okay i think we are missing something like we are not giving the right db name okay so now finally i selected and then get it so data is 10 let me execute one more okay let me execute one more like clean instead of clean architecture let me call to oct octens actually it is a new framework so octens is a good ui framework or allow to that's it i think that is sufficient okay execute 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 continue continue okay so it is generated 11 and let me check in db should be 11 yes now see this is generating okay so that's it for that post endpoint okay and in upcoming session actually we'll learn and we'll implement like uh, next two things the more two things is left in the controller like that delete and and delete and post a put okay so till now thank you have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe